Well, good afternoon. Cindy Eric's here again with you with uh, Robert Henderson's 365 Prayers and Activations for Entering the Courts of Heaven. It's a beautiful day on this Memorial Day weekend, this Saturday, May the 25th. I do hope you are well. Um, today, the topic Robert has for us is standing or falling. Uh, it's a good topic. And uh, he makes reference to Romans 14, 1 through 4. It reads like this. Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. For one believes he may eat all things, like we talked about yesterday, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat, and let not him who does not eat judge him who eats, for God has received him. Who are you to judge another servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're able to make us stand. And to stand for righteousness. And to stand for everything that he is. So this is what Robert has to say today about standing or falling. Remember that the weak here are those who have not yet come to the knowledge of what God does or does not permit. Again, Paul is speaking of eating or engaging in activities that some religious people, religious people, say are forbidden. We're being told to allow each person the liberty to live by their own conscience. Each person must let God be their judge and determine what is permissible and what is not permissible for them. We are not to allow this to cause quarrels or inner fightings among the people of God. We are to have a maturity that lets each person follow the Lord out of his or her own personal convictions and the dictates of his or her own heart. I was just having this conversation with my sister this morning. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps the sincere, who helps the sincere come to awareness of what the Lord is asking of them. Of what the Lord is asking of them. It can be different from person to person. We must allow this liberty for all. And then he restates from Romans 14. To his own master, he stands or he falls. So what's God, what's God speaking to you today? Are you doing what he's speaking you to do? That's between you and God. That is between you and him. This is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as we stand before your courts, as the judge, as you the judge, we thank you that we are not the judge of others. You determine whether someone is living by the standards you have set for them. I ask, Lord, that there would be a spirit of knowledge, that's a capital S, spirit of knowledge that would progressively bring us into new liberties and all the while moving us to new levels of holiness in you. In Jesus' name, amen. That is a good topic today. We don't need to be judging people. No, we don't. I think we're all guilty of it to one degree or another. I know I am. I, I ask the Lord to help me with that. Even these tiny little things. Judgment. Even things that I've struggled with before. Maybe even especially those things that I've struggled with before, right? Anyway. 
That's a good word. This would be my prayer today. Lord, we thank you for this day today, God. Yes, Lord, this on um, this Memorial Day weekend, God. And as we uh, progress through the weekend, Lord, let us not forget the reason that we have a holiday weekend this weekend in the United States is for fallen soldiers who served in our country, men and women. Let us not forget that, God. Let us not forget also, Lord, that you, God the Father, you are the judge. And we leave judgment to your hands, God, to your will. And we release it to you right now, in Jesus' name. We release all judgment to you. We ask, Lord, that you guide us in every conversation, and of course, every single thought, because it's not a conversation until it first is a thought. And I pray, Lord, that you would rule and reign in our thoughts and to help us to recognize when the enemy is stirring things up and uh, causing us to think about some things that, in ways that we shouldn't, God. Help us to be loving, God, in everything. Help us to be forgiving in everything and every person, God. Help us to love every single person, God. And help us to show your love through the power of your Holy Spirit. Help us to be gentle and kind and slow to anger. And remove judgment from our thoughts and our words, of course, Lord. And praise you, Lord, for giving us this day and giving us whatever purpose that you have written in your books in heaven for each one of us. Our destiny for this day. Let that be fulfilled, Lord. And let us hear your voice above any voice. And we ask, Lord, by your word, we would know the difference between the voices that we do hear, God. And recognize the difference between you and the other who's trying to get us into his kind of thinking. We thank you that you are all powerful and that anything is possible with you, that you are the mighty healer, and your Holy Spirit is a comforter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you again, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. We love you. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh. Go today with the word of God in your thoughts and on your lips. Appreciate his creation. Can you hear the birds? Can you see the flowers? I posted a post on Facebook yesterday of a bunch of the roses that are coming up. This is the first bloom in my sister's garden here in New Jersey. And uh, come on, Pixie. I got Pixie out here with me. And uh, obviously. <laughs> and I, you know, when I posted those pictures, the thought occurred to me. And so I said it. I said, like, look at how beautiful. It's like, if, if, if it. How can people not believe in God when they see the beauty? So, uh, believe in him today and uh, appreciate everything that he's placed around us for our eyes to see, our noses to scent, smell the scent of, and for us to engage in and uh, be in continual posture of thankfulness. And keep that smile on your face, no matter what you're going through. Let that smile come straight from your heart. And above everything, love. Love, love, and love with patience. I say that right now for my own self today. I need to practice patience. And I thank you, Lord, that you helped me with that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So God bless you today and know that I love you. Jesus died on the cross for you, and he loves you. He paid it all. He loves you. If you haven't received him, receive him today. You will know. Oh, you will be pleasantly surprised at how wonderful that relationship is. We have the only one true living God. 
kuashiwa